Well, hello, friends. Today, we are going to fix a bug. And let's just go to the bug list. And oh, look, we're under 100 again. That's nice. Uh, let's see. Can I copy slightly large files? Creating long file names crashes the OS. There's so many of them, but I'm just going to pick one of the latest ones. So let's do this one. Creating files with long file names crashes the OS. That sounds like a silly problem. So let's see, it's trying to create a file with a very long name. <coughs> okay. And then we get a crash. So let's try to reproduce that. I guess we could just do something like um, make a really long name like this. Boom, is that too long? No. Okay, let's try longer. Um, <clears throat> very scientific method here. How about that? No? Still not? Oh. Actually, I guess we can just keep adding to this one. How long do I have to go? Oh, there we are. Okay. So that was too long. And how long was that exactly? Just uh, find out. It's 392 characters, so it's not super long at all. So we're crashing in, I mean, we're calling touch, we're invoking touch, which calls open, um, calls VFS open, VFS create, create inode, blah, 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 blah. And then we are dying in right directory. So let's go look at that. Write directory. Mm -hmm. Occupied size. Write buffer create and initialize. Oh, I guess we're crashing here because they're asking for a very large buffer. It's silly large. So something is not going right here. Um, all right, let's just uh, <coughs> turn on these printouts and see what they would tell us. Is that too much? No. That was too much. Okay. So, contents to write, directory size, blah, blah, blah. So, it seems like we are definitely um, computing this all wrong. Entry dot name length. Mm, oh shit! Look at that. Looks like there's a it's a hard cap here. And the directory entry data structure only allows names up to two hundred fifty six characters. Um, and then after that point, then we basically overflow that buffer. See. Silly buffers. Uh, well, we can't have that, so let's um, let's enforce a limit on this. So let's see. Where did we even build up this thing? Directory entries. I mean, where were we coming from? Um, create inode. Here and <clears throat> blah blah blah. Parent inode add child. Oh, I bet I bet it's that one. Create inode, or maybe it's not. Uh, 
add child, and then here, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <clears throat> so if a path name is too long to fit, then we should fail. We shouldn't allow this. So um, I guess we could actually fail right here. If name length is greater than or equal to size of um, directory entry. Um, what the hell is this thing called? Name, right? If it's greater than or equal to that, then we'll return a k result in name too long. That's cool. Um, can you get that with open? Path name was too long. I think I think this is valid because it's like it's not necessarily that the the path itself is too long because you could have like nested subdirectories, but if the base name of the file is too long to fit in. Um, I know table. Let's see. Let's do that. Yes. Max file name length, 255 bytes. See? We can't do that any bigger than that. So is that actually um, 255? Oh, ext2 name land. That's the thing that we should be checking against. Name land. We were not checking that anywhere. <laughs> oh, that's crappy. All right, all right. So then, if it's greater than or equal to ex2 name len, um, or actually if it's greater than, because 255 is fine, then we still have space for the null terminator. Um, all right, so let's try this. And... So yeah, I guess the trick here was to go over um, 255 and then interesting things would happen, right? But name too long. Look at that. I wonder what happens here if we do the same. If we just try to create the same file name. File name too long. I wonder if that's the same error code. File name too long. Um, too long. I'm just curious if it's the same error now. Um, where are these things? Too long. User include. E name too long. Um, I mean, yeah, it's probably, yeah, 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 there it is. E name too long, file name too long. That's the one. Okay, so that's consistent with Linux. Oops, so let's just do that. Um, so, uh, directory entry. We should probably um, be a little bit better here about detecting or really long ones. So let's say assert name length. Oh, ah. um, so this is um, this is a generic file system code, but we'll just say that uh, name and length has to be less than size of um, name.
just so that we'll um, we'll assert if you if you um, somehow end up here with a too long name. This thing isn't ideal really, but it is the way that it is uh, because there's all this old file system code that I have to refactor in order to get rid of this ridiculous data structure. Um, but I don't want to do that right now, so an assertion is fine. Can't do everything at the same time. Although we could add a fix me. Because uh, someone asked me in a comment why I don't add so, um, more fix me's. And I don't have a good answer. I should add more fix me's. So <laughs> let's add some more fix me's. I, I do think that I got a lot better at adding fix me's. Um, you know, as more and more people start working on Serenity, because I'm trying to communicate in my code to those people. So fix me's are a good way of, of communicating to future readers of the code, including future me. Um, it is very clunky and unpleasant. Place it but something nicer. Okay. And then, oops, then let's do a patch review. So, in the exe2 file system, we now check um, when we're adding a child to one inode, which basically means you're creating an entry in a directory. Then we check if the name length is greater than the allowed length. If so, we say ename too long. And then in the directory entry constructors, we assert that the name length is less than uh, what we can fit in the buffer. And then we have to fix me about the um, file system data structure. So, um, directory entry. I'm just wondering, are we making this? So in remove child, it's like, it doesn't really matter here, right? Because we're just um, removing something that is already in the list, so we don't need to worry about it. Traversal, right directory, um, right directory. No, these are all good. Okay, okay. So then let's write a commit message and say, um, ex2fs. Uh, fail with a name too long if um, I'm trying to create trying to create a directory too long directory entry should fail with name too long should be named too long. Uh, also added some assertions to directory entry um, in case someone tries to instantiate them with names that would overflow the name buffer. Directory entry is a crappy text structure and the name buffer is also crappy. Added a fix me about um, replacing it with something nicer. Um, so this fixes that bug. What was the number of that? Oh. Fixes. Issues uh, five thirty eight. Um, okay, yeah, right. Fix that. Um, um, before this patch, we would uh, go. On. Directory entry name would overflow um, if you tried um, 
did touch string on file name. Duh. Okay. Cool. Let's push that. Boom. And I think that's pretty good. Closed. Very nice. And let's just see it one more time. Because I like seeing it one more time. Touch. Mm -hmm. Boom. Too long. Hmm. All right. Well, we should probably fix that so that you can pass multiple things to touch. But yeah, so this fails just like we wanted. And if it's not too long, then it works. Although the terminal didn't render beautifully there, but whatever. Um, great. Very, very good. do that. Can we pipe that to wc dash c? No, it doesn't work that way. Okay, but we can we can do um, foo and then we could count the characters like that. Hmm. That's pretty neat. And how big is foo? Oops. 245. Look, this operating system, the little parts of it, they work. How neat is that? <laughs> Anyways. So I think we're going to end the video here, but if you made it this far, then I thank you for watching and for hanging out with me while I continue to work on this. Uh, I hope you saw something interesting, and I will see you next time.